One of the top Indian art markets in all of the Southwest is coming to Charlotte Hall Museum July 13th and 14th right here at Charlotte Hall Museum. And to tell us about that, we've got Dave Lewis and also Terry Barrett. Great to have you guys with us again. So, again, 22 years this has been going. Now, this is all actual, real art. This isn't made-up stuff. This is the real stuff and the very best. You come to our market, you get to meet the artists who are creating the work, you get to discuss it with them, and you buy directly from the artist who has made the work. And this is passed down through generations. And in fact, we do have this year four young artists coming with their parents, age, ages 12 to 17. Four young artists who have learned from their elders and are carrying on their, their tribal traditions. All right, that is incredible. They're starting them early and learning those because those kind of crafts have to be, you know, learned from someone and passed down and they can be extinct. Some go extinct, don't they? Yeah. So this is fabulous. Now, this is also a juried show. It is. That's hugely important. Our jury is made up of seven Native American artists who are specialists in everything from pottery to painting to carving and sculpture. And they evaluate the applicants who want to come to our market, and they decide who gets to come to the market. I have no say in this. I don't get a vote. Whoa. Dave, how many new artists do we have this year? Um, we have about 110 artists total. Every year we have some turnover. This year there are 24 brand new artists who've never been here before. And they come from all over the place. From all over the place. Right. So this year it's mostly Southwest, mostly from 25 different tribes and pueblos in Arizona, California, and New Mexico. Okay, and you have a featured artist as well. Yes, Aaron Cajero. And I'm wearing the t-shirt that Aaron designed. He's a potter, but he, this is Jemez. He's a potter who puts symbols of his tribal culture and heritage on his pots. And instead of just designing a pot with all of those symbols on it, we asked him to create some art using the symbols that we could put onto our t-shirt. That's absolutely great. Now, this is also a family event. So what else do you have going for, for everyone? We have an extraordinary amount of entertainment, constant entertainment, some of the best in the Southwest, hoop dancers, musicians, one of whom is featured in the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, some of the best hoop dancers, flute players, guitar players, anybody who's a fan of the famous Fred Cabote, the artist who did a lot of work at the Grand Canyon. Fred's grandson, Ed, is here as a performer and as a Ooh. painter. Well, you're a musician. I, I know that. Are you going to perform? You're not Native American. No, right? they're all Native American. <laughs> I, I played with them before at some of the festivals. No, but there's also food. Just be them. Like there's food, bread. Navajo fry bread. Okay. The entire museum will be open as well, all of the buildings. So not only can you experience the art from the Indians, you can also experience the museum. And we have a number of new exhibits that's worth coming to. There okay. is an admission, uh, but you get everything included. So we encourage everyone to come. Well, it's totally worth it. And again, this is the 13th and 14th, which is a Saturday and Sunday in July. So times and... 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday and 9, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. And it usually starts raining around 4 p.m. on Sunday, <laughs> which is nature's way of saying you've done a good job. Time to go home now. <laughs> well, we, we kind of joke about that because we've got two white guys who are like, but do you guys put this together for, for them? You know? That's a great question. Uh, the, the image of two white guys standing here running an Indian market is kind of strange. We don't run the market. We don't make the decisions. As I mentioned earlier, we don't decide who gets to come to the market. A council of seven Native American artists run the show. They created the market 22 years right. ago, and they continue to run the market. They make the rules. They decide who comes and who doesn't. And that's exactly why it's so popular. The Prescott Indian Art Market with authentic um, Indian Native American art, entertainment, music, and food right here at Charlotte Hall Museum.